<laughs> There's no way you're keeping still for this whole video, is there? Hey, everybody, are you ready for some good news? There she goes. She's over here now. First up, a team at MIT has taken a major step toward producing energy through nuclear fusion. Late last month, MIT's al qaeda CMOD Tokamak Nuclear Fusion Reactor set a new record for plasma pressure. This is crucial because to create a viable fusion reaction, you need plasma that is three things. Contained, incredibly hot, and incredibly dense. As the temperature and the density of the plasma increases, so does the pressure. On September 30th, the al qaeda CMOD reactor achieved a plasma pressure of two atmospheres, a first. The plasma inside the reactor reached a temperature of 35 million degrees Celsius, more than twice as hot as the center of the sun. It was contained in a volume of about one cubic meter and lasted for two seconds. So clearly there's still a long way to go before fusion is a viable, sustainable energy source, but this result represents a big step in that direction. And it might not be as far off as you think. The al qaeda CMOD team estimates fusion power could be a reality as soon as the 2030s. The record-setting al qaeda CMOD result was presented earlier this month in Kyoto, Japan at the International Atomic Energy Agency Fusion Energy Conference. Next up, researchers in North Carolina may have finally created an effective vaccine against dengue fever. Developing an effective dengue fever vaccine has proven extremely difficult because there are five strains of the virus which causes it. The fifth was just discovered in 2013. To be successful, a vaccine would have to protect against all five types. Researchers at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill may have found a way around this problem by basing their vaccine on a specially engineered nanoparticle. In their research, the UNC Chapel Hill team covered the surface of their nanoparticle with proteins from type 2 of the dengue fever virus. They found that mice injected with the nanoparticles developed a stronger immune response to the type 2 virus. Since the nanoparticle can be modified with proteins from the other strains as well, this vaccine could be adapted to trigger immune responses to not just type 2, but every type of the dengue fever virus. And seeing as how dengue fever afflicts 350 million people in 120 countries every year, tens of thousands of whom die, such a vaccine would be very, very good news. And finally, astronomers at the University of Arizona have found more evidence for the existence of an unseen ninth planet at the edge of our solar system. After observing the Kuiper Belt, the region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune that contains dwarf planets such as Pluto, as well as thousands of smaller objects, astronomers at UA's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory concluded that the orbits of several Kuiper Belt objects were best explained by the presence of an undiscovered ninth planet. The UA team focused on the four Kuiper Belt objects known to have the longest orbital period. They found that the orbits of these objects suggest that the objects are affected by the gravitational influence of a body about 10 times the mass of Earth orbiting the Sun at a maximum distance of 660 astronomical units, or about 61.4 billion miles. The planet would orbit the Sun once every 17,000 years. These findings are far from conclusive evidence of the existence of this ninth planet. It's possible there's another explanation for the orbits of these four Kuiper Belt objects and for the other observations that have been used to suggest the existence of the unknown planet. For now, all we have are hypotheses and tantalizing possibilities. The results of this study were presented in Pasadena, California at the 48th meeting of the Division for Planetary Sciences of the American Astronomical Society. A new record for plasma pressure in a fusion reactor, a nanoparticle that can vaccinate against dengue fever, and more evidence for the existence of a mysterious ninth planet in our solar system. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.